said anything about running away, okay? But I just... I don't want to lose. I thought I could help you. <laughs> Having a falling out, are we? Shut up! <laughs> Once I have my proof, I'll be back. <laughs> and when you do, I will gladly cooperate. Not that I'm expecting much. You ready to see? Yeah. Yagami-san, can you give Okobo a message for me? Sure, what's up? Once he gets out, I want to go visit Emmy's grave with him. <laughs> That's a pretty big deal. There's a lot we have to take care of before we can even get to that, though. Yeah. Otherwise, Okubo will get executed and never have his name cleared. We'll fix it. Don't worry. I hope you're right. We can't let him die in there. Agreed. I'll give him the message. I don't believe this. You're serious? Yeah. He told us his name was Sugiura at first. Fumiakun. You know, I only met him once before Emmy's death. Both of us were a little shy, though, so we didn't really talk. I can still remember how he glared at me during the trial. And how I couldn't even look him in the eye. By the way, he told me to tell you something. Huh? He said he wanted... He wants to visit Emmy's grave. I see. He really wants to do that? With me? Yeah. I'd like to take him up on that. Ayabe's trial is coming up. We're gonna snare the guy behind 89. A man from the Ministry of Health by the name of Ichinose. Can you do it though? For real? Yeah, the prosecutor's on my side, too. 
Ichinose won't stand a chance. I'll tell them you're innocent, too. I gave up on that a long time ago. I thought no one would hear me. No matter how loud I scream. I thought I'd die branded a murderer. But if Fumiyakun understands, maybe there's still a chance. If the guy who hated me most forgives me, maybe everyone else will too. I'll get you out of here. I promise. Well, sure. Sorry for asking you to do this, Yagami. Sure you don't want to bring Kaitos? He got expelled, remember? They wouldn't even... Right. Anyway, let's go. Stop them? Just come on. Stay down. Yo, Kengo. Higashi Anaki. Finally went and brought me Yagami-san, huh? Huh? Easy. It's okay. Need something from me? Our patriarch is dead. And I hear you've got the scoop on who did it. You know who the mole is. And I want you to tell us. So you want revenge? We don't just want it. We need to get it. All part of being a Yakuza. You're gonna massacre the son of a bitch! You can't handle it. The fuck you say to me?! I've told them that already. But they won't listen. So what do you want me to do? I mean, you're a lawyer, yeah? Isn't persuasion your job? You can't worm your way out of this. Tell us who the mole is! Or... Do you need a little encouragement? Kengo! I'm 
you rebuild this family one way or another. Now stand the fuck down, Aniki! If you want to know that yeah. bad, I'll tell you. Huh? But... <laughs> who is he? <sighs> Kuroiwa. From the Tokyo PD. Organized crime. <laughs> Bastard's a cop. <sighs> Doesn't end with him, though. Kuroiwa's just a tool for the people really behind all this. They're not afraid of some small-time Yakuza thugs. <laughs> oh, shut up. That's why I'm gonna beat them myself, in court. <laughs> you... You seriously think you can do that? <laughs> Matsugane-san was like a father to me for the last 20 years. I knew him longer than you guys. I want revenge as bad as you. Maybe more. Can you let me handle this one? <laughs> I owe you one, Yagami. Don't mention it. Later. Killing Kuroiwa wouldn't accomplish shit. He's just the tip of this whole fucked up iceberg. Let Yagami do this. You might even want to consider helping him. Yo. Sorry, Higashi pulled you into that. <laughs> Not too hard when you've got... <laughs> Anyways. With Matsugane-san gone. 